नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील स्टडी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट सपोर्ट वेक्टर मशीन्स फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन टास्क विथ एस के लर्न सपोर्ट वेक्टर मशीन्स आर अ सेट ऑफ सुपरवाइज लर्निंग मेथड्स यूज फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन रिग्रेशन एंड आउटलाइज डिटेक्शन एस वी एम कंस्ट्रक्ट्स हाइपर प्लेन और अ सेट ऑफ हाइपर प्लेन्स इन हाई डायमेंशनल और इनफाइनाइट डायमेंशनल स्पेस which can be used for classification regression and other task in sk learn svm is implemented with three methods one is svc second is nu svc and third is linear svc the first two methods are similar but they accept slightly different set of parameters they are implemented based on lib svm linear svc on other hand is a faster implementation of linear svm it uses only linear kernel and the implementation is based on lib linear library the training data has two components the training samples or the feature matrix x which has got the shape of number of samples by number of features so this is an example of a feature matrix here the the first sample has got two features which are set to 0 0 and second one has got two features that are set to 1 we have y which holds the class label and y has shape of number of samples it's a vector so y in this case is 0 and 1 the label for the first example is 0 and for the second example the label is 1 let's see how to implement svc or or C support vector classification. We first instantiate a SVC classifier estimator. We import SVC estimator from sklearn.svm module. We instantiate SVC object. In the second step, we call fit method on the SVC classifier object with training feature matrix and label vectors as argument. So x underscore train is the feature matrix and y underscore train is a label vector. Let's see how to perform regularization in SVC classifier. So there is a parameter C which is a regularization parameter which takes a float value. The default value of C is one. The strength of regularization is inversely proportional to C. C is strictly positive, and the penalty that is used is squared L2 penalty. Let's see how to specify kernel type. to be used in the algorithm so we can set the kernel to linear polynomial rbf which is radial basis function and sigmoid and we can in addition to these we can also have pre computed kernels we can set the kernel in the kernel argument of spc object here we have set the kernel to rbf which is a default choice if kernel is equal to poly then we need to set an additional parameter which is degree of the polynomial and it takes any kind of any integer value if kernel is equal to callable then it is used to pre compute the kernel matrix from the data matrices so here with kernel equal to callable you can define your own kernel matrix based on the data that you have Let's see how to set the kernel coefficients for RBF polynomial and sigmoid kernels. So there is a parameter gamma that is used to set these coefficients. Gamma defines scale, auto value, and it takes a float value. The value of gamma in case of scale is one by number of features into variance of x, which is the feature matrix. The default value of gamma is scale. if kernel is equal to poly or sigmoid then set coefficient 0 which is an independent term in the kernel function to any integer value let's see how to view the support vectors after the classifier is fit on the training data there are few attributes which reveal the details of the support vectors so we can take the support vectors using the object of svc and we can access them using support underscore vectors underscore member variable the indices of the support vectors can be accessed through support underscore member variable 
and to view the number of support vectors for each class, we can access that with n underscore support underscore member variable. Let's see how to implement new SVC or V support vector classification. We have to first instantiate a new SVC classifier estimator. New SVC is implemented again in sklearn.svm module. We instantiate new SVC object and then call a fit method with the training feature matrix and label vectors as arguments. Let's see the significance of V in new SVC. Instead of C in SVC, V is introduced in new SVC to control the number of support vectors and margin errors. V is an upper bound on the fraction of margin errors and a lower bound of the fraction of support vectors. The value of V should be between 0 and 1. The default value of V is 0.5. Other parameters for new SVC are same as that of SVC. Let's see how to implement linear SVC which is linear support vector classification. So we instantiate linear SVC classifier estimator which is imported from sklearn.svm module. We instantiate the object of linear SVC and then call the fit method with training feature vectors and label vector as argument just like other SVM classifiers. Let's see how to provide penalty in linear SVC classifier. So we can add L1 penalty which is L1 norm or L2 penalty and L1 leads to coefficient vectors being sparse and by default linear SVC uses L2 penalty. Let's see how to choose loss function in linear SVC classifier. So we have a loss parameter that can be set to hinge loss which results into standard SVM. Then we can also use squared underscore hinge loss which is square of the hinge loss. By default linear SVC uses squared hinge loss. We cannot use penalty L1 and hinge loss that is not supported in linear SVC. Let's look at some of the parameters in linear SVC classifier. There is a parameter C which is a regularization parameter. Then there is a parameter dual which selects the algorithm to solve. It could be either a dual or primal optimization problem. When number of samples are greater than number of features, prefer to use the primal problem by setting dual to false. We also have another parameter which is fit underscore intercept parameter that, that instructs model to calculate the intercept. Let's see how to perform multi-class classification using SVM. SVC and new SVC implement one versus one approach for multi-class classification. We have to specify the decision function shape which can either be one versus one or one versus rest. Linear SVC implements one versus the rest approach for multi-class classification. So multi-class is either OVR or Kramer Singer which is more optimized way for doing multi-class classification. But Kramer Singer is, is rarely used in practice because it is slower. Let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of SVM. So SVM is effective in high dimensional spaces. It is effective in cases where the number of dimensions is greater than the number of samples. It uses a subset of training points in the decision function and this subset of training points is called support vectors so it is very memory efficient. It is versatile, different kernel functions can be specified for the decision function. Some of the disadvantages of SVM includes SVM do not directly provide probability estimates. These are calculated using expensive 5-fold cross-validation. It avoids overfitting in choosing kernel functions if the number of features is much greater than the number of samples. So these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of SVM. So in this video, we studied how to implement SVM with SKLearn library.